Subcutaneous injections need to go into subcutaneous tissue or anywhere on your body that fat deposits. So the most common sites are gonna be in the abdomen, which is where a lot of fat is deposited. And the abdomen is pretty much exclusively used when we're doing things like heparin or anoxaparin. So I simply need to find a place where I can grasp a little bit of my patient's subcutaneous tissue, and then I could go in at that 90 degree angle or that 45 degree angle. So I can use the front lower part of the abdomen. The side of the abdomen is fine as well. Uh, another uh, good place to go is going to be in the back of the arm. Now I want to point out this is very different than when I'm doing a deltoid injection, right? That's your intramuscular injection. So when I'm going to give a sub-Q injection, I'm not going in that same place. I'm coming down to this bottom part that I like to call my bat wings and I'm pulling it out away from the patient so that I'm making sure that the needle goes into the subcutaneous tissue. Other locations that are possible include the upper back, which is slightly horrifying to me, and to the lateral aspects of the legs.